Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Cohen, and I'm going to read to you today one of my favorite math books called How Much is a Million by David M. Schwartz, pictures by Stephen Kellogg. How much is a million? How much is a million? If one million kids climbed onto one another's shoulders, they would be taller than the tallest building, higher than the highest mountains, and further up than airplanes can fly. If you wanted to count from one to one million, it would take you about 23 days. If a goldfish bowl were big enough for a million goldfish, it would be big enough to hold a whale. Presto, 100 stars. If this book had a million tiny stars, they would fill 70 pages. Climb aboard. Do you guys see all those stars? I wonder how many pages of stars we needed. They said we needed to have 70 pages of stars. Do you think we're gonna have 70 pages? There you have 100 thousand stars. If we take this seven page journey 10 times, we'll pass a million stars. Let's do that later. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. How big is a billion? If a billion kids made a human tower, they would stand up past the moon. If you sat down to count from one to one billion, you would be counting for 95 years. If you found a goldfish bowl large enough to hold a billion goldfish, it would be as big as a stadium. If this book had a billion tiny stars, its pages spread side by side would stretch almost 10 miles. Do you see all the stars on the road? 10 miles of pages. How tremendous is a trillion? If a trillion kids stood on top of each other, they would reach way, way, way beyond the moon beyond Mars and Jupiter too, and almost as far as Saturn's rings. Wow, one trillion kids. If you wanted to count from one to one trillion, it would take you almost 200,000 years. If you put a trillion goldfish in a goldfish bowl, the bowl would have to be as big as a city harbor. If you put a trillion of our stars onto a gigantic roll of paper, it would stretch all the way from New York to New Zealand. The end. Good night, boys and girls. I hope you have a great night.